ีค่ะเกิดอะไรขึ้นกับอาจารย์ชิปคะอยู่ๆเงินในบัญชีของอาจารย์ชิปก็หายไปค่ะมีร่องรอยของการโอนเงินออกจากบัญชีนะคะเหตุการณ์อย่างนี้อาจจะเกิดขึ้นได้กับหลายๆคนนะคะเราลองไปดูนะคะว่ามีวิธีการยังไงในการที่จะช่วยให้เราปลอดภัยจากการจรกรรมทางออนไลน์เหล่านี้นะคะไปดูคลิปฉบับเต็มนะคะแล้วก็จะมีคําศัพท์ที่น่าสนใจทั้งหมด10คําด้วยกันค่ะลองดูนะคะในที่ไฮไลท์ไว้เป็นตัวสีแดงค่ะไปชมกันเลยค่ะ Look at this It said 20,000 baht was transferred from my bank account via online banking. How could that happen? Are you sure you didn't do it? Of course not. I haven't done anything online for months. Oh, my email account was hacked last week. How did that happen? I'm not sure. I sent an email via a library computer last week. A couple days later, I got notification stating that my email was logged in from an unknown device. I changed my password right away, but I didn't change the one for internet banking. You know, I used the same password for everything online. It could be because of that. The online criminals are getting better and better. I read somewhere that the same password shouldn't be used for different websites, especially for online banking services. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I found these major safety tips on using internet banking services from the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. Mm -hmm. Come and have a look. First, log in passwords. Set a password that is difficult to guess. And different from the ones for other services, the login password should be changed regularly and should never be stored on computers, mobile phones, or placed in plain sight. Keep the security token, if any, provided by your bank at a safe place. What's the second tip? Computers and mobile phones. Protect your computer and mobile phone from logging in into your internet banking. Avoid using public computers or public Wi-Fi to access internet banking services. That's right. Third, bank websites and apps. Internet banking should be accessed by entering the bank's website address directly, or using a bookmark or an internet banking mobile application, an app. Never access your bank website or provide your personal information. Including your password, through any hyperlinks or attachments embedded in emails or from websites. I need the mobile app. Then, login process. Beware of any unusual login screen or process. For example, a suspicious pop-up window or request for providing additional personal information. And whether anyone is trying to peek at your password. Log out immediately after use. Yeah, I won't forget about this. And the last one is messages from banks. Check your bank's SMS messages and other messages in a timely manner, and verify your transaction records. Inform your bank immediately in case of any suspicious situations. Banks will not ask for any sensitive personal information. Including passwords through phone calls or emails. Oh yeah, I have heard a lot of emails are sent from scammers, trying to get us to click a link and steal our password. That's true. Many people become victims of this internet scam because they thought it was from the bank. I think I should contact the bank now. At least they can freeze my account before more money is stolen. Do you think my lost money will be refunded? I hope so.